Welcome to the third video in this instructional series for our Home Access Needs Assessment Playbook. This video will describe the steps and resources for developing communications materials that will support your data collection effort. We will cover tips for all external communications for both one-to-one -one interactions with parents, as well as broadcasted notifications to your family community. In this video, you will cover the following topics. One, how to equip your outreach team with effective collateral, and two, how to build awareness with families. Section one, equip your team with effective collateral. A key piece of successfully using direct outreach to collect data is ensuring that those doing the outreach are set up with high quality scripts and other communications materials. To support this step, we have created sample materials that can be customized for your district's collection efforts. These materials have been designed to ensure that one, you collect accurate and complete home access data. Number two, you maintain consistency in messaging across your team. And three, you provide families with clear expectations on next steps. Here is a sample call script that you can copy and adapt for your calling team. The survey question in blue are aligned with the home access data fields we recommend that you collect for each student. We've also outlined different follow-up responses depending on how families answer each question. For more details on those data fields and corresponding question and answer options, we recommend you watch video number one in this series on key steps for getting started. In addition to a calling script, we recommend providing your team with a script for leaving a voicemail, as well as an email template. Using multiple modes of communication with parents is the best way to increase participation rates in this data collection effort. Section two, build awareness with families. Now that we've covered resources to support one-to-one -one communications with families, we also want to touch on the importance of sending mass communications that will notify families of the upcoming outreach efforts and help the community know what to expect. Engagement from families will be highest when direct outreach is preceded by a handful of broadcast messages to the community. When creating a plan for these communications, it's important to consider a few things. Number one. Work with your communications team to understand the channels that get the most engagement from families, whether you're using your district's Facebook page, the website of your individual schools, or messaging through your learning management system. It's important that the channels you use are places that parents are likely to see and used to going to for district updates and resources. Number two, plan to send this messaging both before and during your ouch campaign. Sending out notifications a couple of days ahead of the effort will ensure that parents know what to expect and will be prepared for outreach from the district. You may also want to post quick reminders during the outreach campaign to keep the effort top of mind. Number three, the content of the messaging should, be, should give a quick explanation of why this data collection is happening and if possible, how the data will be used to support the community. This does not need to be a lengthy explanation, but a digestible message that conveys the urgency and importance of this effort. Number four, you can preempt potential objections or confusion by providing details on what will be asked of each family. Consider listing out the home access questions themselves or at least giving an overview of what data pieces are being collected. We've developed resources to support this step for your district, shown here. Our social media toolkit includes example posts for both Facebook and Twitter, as well as tips on how to increase engagement with parents. You can also use our template website and newsletter language if you choose to communicate with families through those channels. With all these materials and templates, you should of course feel free to customize for your district and local context. In closing, the two key steps to creating communications materials that maximize participation are, one, 
equipping your team with effective collateral, and two, building awareness with families. Our playbook provides several resources that can support you through these activities that we encourage you to use and customize. That brings us to the end of video number three. Thanks for watching and please check out video number four to continue your playbook journey. For more information on getting started with your data collection, visit www.digitalbridgek12.org.